Hi everybody and welcome back to Revilia, our wonderful little settlement in Manor Lords. Oh, it's so good to be back. I'm really excited. Things are going pretty well. It's still our first year. It's fall right now. It's September. That's good. We're doing all right on food and fuel. That's real good. If we take a look at our citizens, they have water access, fuel, good food. We need clothing and a church. We have some things that we have to do today. Clothing straight away. That seems like a great idea. We're going to get into that and we're going to build a tannery. That's a hunting camp. Hold on, where is it? Ah, here we go, the tannery. Construction cost four wood, no problem. All right, we need to stick this near our hunting lodge down here. And it is a dirty industry, so we do want to keep it away from all the houses. There's our hunting lodge. So let's try and let's tuck it in the woods a little bit over here, right? That seems like a good idea. We still have two families assigned to working so that's good that should be built pretty quickly i'm hoping and once we get that up and running we'll be able to stick a family on there and we'll finally get some food up and go up and running for this place it'll be real nice right oh look at all that food though at the food stall we still have bread we have berries we got meats we don't have eggs and uh yeah let's take a look at this we have two eggs Two eggs and no vegetables. Grow vegetables faster. Jeez, we may want to consider getting another vegetable garden. We need 15 wealth, though. We are selling planks at our trading post. Do we even have any planks? We have 15. That's not bad. Oh, there's nobody working in our trading post. Let's throw someone at the trading post real quick. And once this is finished being built, We'll assign a family there and then take a family off of this trading post. We need to get some trading then done though so that we can make some money. So that we can buy some wonderful things like additional uh, vegetables and what have you. Uh, we also have to think about this church. It's very important. Where is the church? I did want to build it up here. I was thinking facing the market. Or we could have it at the very end down here and then leave the top for a tavern and the manor house because that's another thing that we need. Where is it? Ah, there we go. A manor. We have to build our manor somewhere. And that needs to... Ooh, maybe that should be at the end of this. Right? We'll put our huge manor at the very bottom. And then we can have the church on the top. That sounds like a good idea. I like that. So we have this place for the market right now. And we did leave this empty. I was going to put another market space here. But that is a pretty big area. Free stall location. 71. I think that's going to be enough room. I think we'll be okay there. How is this coming along? It's under construction. I think it's the only thing that we have building right now, but I just want people to know it's a high priority. Get on that. Oh, nice. This is our trader. It looks like he's uh, waiting patiently for this lady to move. I think she's going to build stuff, so she's taking supplies to get stuff built. And he just grabbed some planks. And I think he's just going to mosey on down the road and uh, sell it for us. Make us some money. I can't scroll in front of him to see where he's going. I can only look behind him. That's not right. It's not right, game. Come on. Ah, oh, good. It looks like we did have a trader that just came in and we sold a bunch of planks, which is real nice. So, let's go ahead. Do you have anything? Would you like to have something? How about some chickens, maybe? Should we do... Oh, what is this? A yield of hides. We don't have that yet. We're doing goats. <laughs> nice. I know we're just building the tannery and everything just now too. Oh, these bandits. They stole eight berries. That's it. Where's my gallows? I really want to build a gallows. Please, developers, put this in the game. Ah, we're broke again though. We only have eight. How much is it? 
for vegetables. 15 and 25. I want to get an additional one of each of these because we're not bringing in enough. It's just not enough. We have absolutely no eggs and no vegetables. This is a very sad day. It's a very sad day indeed. How are things going over here? Coming along well. Oh, I thought you were going to do some work. She's just out for a stroll. Oh, I think she is actually... Hold on. Hey, Toots. Hey. What is she doing? Gathering berries. Okay. This is an issue. She is walking all the way out on this road to go to here to get berries. No. Just no. That's horrible. We need to build a better path for her to take. So we have the foraging hut right here. Let's build a road that goes along the forest. We have to avoid the wild animals, but we'll also, we'll use this road as a border for the wild animals too, right? It'll be perfect. So we'll start here, go straight back, and then we'll curve this up, right? Should we connect? We'll connect that in a minute. We're going to curve this out this way. Go around this area. Follow the woods up. All right, where are we going? Out to the berries? No problem. We just want to make sure we don't destroy any berries in the process, right? It's all the way out here. I don't think roads will actually do anything to hurt the berries. So we're going to bring it into the forest a bit. And how does that look? The curve looks good and everything. Let's hold control. And mouse it just to see. Yeah, I think it was pretty good to begin with. That looks pretty nice, right? Maybe right about there. Awesome. Alright. Let's build this new path. And let's also connect this little bit right here. We may as well. Bam. Fantastic. Alright, so we avoided this, which is down to six. Um, hunting camp? I believe I told you 10. Let's up this, like, please stop. I kind of want to, I'm taking him off for right now. <laughs> Just stop doing what you're doing, please. Hopefully the food stall is abandoned. Uh-oh. That's not the best. Um, if we put someone in the granary, where's my granite? There's my granary. If we switch him to that. Good, the food stall is back up and running. We're just going to let these animals be for a little bit. We're, we don't want to hunt them to extinction here. Jeez. And hopefully now, our citizens will start taking this road out to there to get berries. Instead of going all the way up and around. Now they could just go from here. Alright, we got the tannery up and running. We have two extra families. The game saved itself. It's a good day. It's a real good day. All right, let's get someone working in the tannery straight away. And also, I want to see how this bad boy looks. Not bad. Tucked away in the woods there. What do you think, citizen? He just did a moonwalk. I think he approves. That's good. All right, so hopefully with that, we should get another stall in here. And they should hopefully start selling some uh, some clothes and we could finally get this clothing stall in place leather yarn or linen all right while that gets up and running the next thing that we are going to need is a church hopefully that will take care of the clothing next thing church and with that we need i think it was 15 planks oh 20 we need 20. what's the minimum that we told this guy to keep here let's take a look trade all of it. no all right let's uh we're gonna stop this for right now no trade at the moment and the dude that's working here get out it's fine you don't have to work at the trading post right now we need planks so we're gonna let them build up planks and i'm gonna have a long hard think about where i want to put the church oh boy it's real important you know it's very important to figure these things out are they getting to work Yes! Nice! They're getting it started! Now we just need them to get a stall up and running. 
Uh oh, looks like we need to get someone working in the storehouse. And we just, uh, oh, the clothing stall, nice. That just got done. All right, let's put someone in the storehouse so they can move some goods for us. And we still have a family available to build. And we have our clothing stall. Oh, look at this. Look at this. It's beautiful. That's the most beautiful clothing stall I've ever seen. All right, get to work moving stuff. And I think I've come to a decision as far as our church. I did want this road in the middle with the church on one side and the graveyard on the other. I don't think I'm gonna do that. Instead, I think I am just gonna have this road go out like this, nice and straight. Just that on that side. And then we'll get it as close to we as close as we can over there. Put another road in there. And then we're just gonna get rid of this road in the center. Right? There we go. It'll be fine. It looks a little strange, but maybe we can line them with trees or something, right? Make them look real nice. And then we'll be able to get the church just right here in the center. And maybe we can flank it with a graveyard on each side, right? I think that'll look even better. And we don't have to snap to the road either. We can try and get it more in the center there as well. But we still have to wait on planks. So guys, please get to work making planks if you want a church. I guess they don't have enough clothing at the clothing stall to satisfy that just yet. But it should be coming. Yeah, they got nothing here yet. <laughs> That's fine. How are our animals? They're slowly coming back. Good stuff. Alright, nice. We finished that other home. I paused the construction of the other two houses because we need... We only have one ox, right? This little guy right here. Christina is making him, making him do things. It's great. Um... What was I saying? Oh, yeah, we have a problem with uh, food and fuel. We have enough fuel for three months and food for five. But it is November. It's about to be winter. So I moved some families around. We now have, we do still have someone in the storehouse moving some materials around, which is real nice. I put a second person on the forager's hut to try and get some of these berries in real quick before it turns to winter and the wild animals still aren't good enough to hunt so we're gonna have to leave that be and uh, I was gonna put a second person maybe on the woodcutters lodge we may as well and see if that if there's nothing stored inside fetching water felling a tree yeah hopefully that will help I'm very hopeful we need to get that going and we're getting close to the amount of planks that we need but another problem with that the production is slow because we only have the one ox so it's best that we don't do any more construction so that we could use that ox to move some of the stuff hopefully they're taking that to go make it into planks right cunts oh geez all right good stuff unassigned families needed for construction work no, we're done. We're not building anything else right now. I paused them. Calm down, game. It's fine. Um, we could just buy another ox, but we don't have the money to afford it, and we don't have the stable space. We would have to build another one or upgrade this with two planks, which we kind of need our planks. So hopefully these guys will just make do. And, ah, oh, good, the storehouse. It's good to have people working in the storehouse. Except for when they're being lazy and they're just waiting. You don't look like you're waiting. You look like you're doing work. Good job, lady. Keep it up. Alright, we finally have enough planks to build this church. We don't have any available builders to build it, but we're at least going to put it down. And it's probably best that we don't have builders to build it. Because we need the firewood. Uh, it just lines up so perfectly. Damn, we're putting it right there. No one can build it yet, but it's going to look real nice, and I'm very hopeful. 
that we could build graveyards on the side. If we can't, we could just delete the road, hopefully, and expand the church out that way, and it'll be fine. Oh, this is so cool. All right, so now it's a matter of trying to make it through winter. It's November, and winter is about to be upon us. We're good on food. It's just the fuel. Oh, the animals are back. All right, nice. So, hmm, I do want to put someone here. We had them work. Okay, we're going to switch them from the granary to the hunter's lodge again so that our stall doesn't go away. We should still have our... Our food stall shouldn't be abandoned, I'm hoping, once they start hunting, right? Food stall? Okay. I'm going to take someone off of the... Uh, off of this, which I don't really want to do, but I want to make sure we still have that food stall going. Oh no, it's good now. It just took a minute. <laughs> let, me, let me look in this place. Oh no, food stall, it still says abandoned. Alright, fine. So we have to have someone working at the granary. That's okay. It's still abandoned. All right, now it's good. All right, everything is fine. Three months of fuel. Huh. Oh, let's hope this is okay. Let's hope we survive the winter. All right, it just turned to winter. It's December now. So we still have the berries, but it's seasonal, so it's shrinking. We're gonna still keep two people on the forager's hut to take care of that. But what I want to do is actually stop plank production, right? Not the woodcutter's lodge. We need that for firewood. But the saw pit, we're going to take people off of that so that they can start constructing our beautiful church. Oh, it's going to be so good. We may as well. And then we should be able to move some more people around to... Oh, a new move. I <laughs> love a new family has just moved in. I got so excited that I couldn't even get it out. All right, we're going to unpause construction of another home. And we're just going to boost the priority to this for the church to be a little bit higher. So as soon as I get done with this, they'll go and start working on that. Oh, good stuff. I'm excited. And now we have two families to work on this. That's real good. Hmm, should we get them in plank production? I'm wondering if we should. I kind of feel as though we should. Let's continue with the plank production. We're not. No, we're going to keep them off that. We don't actually need planks for anything. I'd rather put the extra person towards maybe firewood. Or, hmm, I don't know. There's... There's so many things. Oh, we're already running out of wild animals as well. Hunting limits 10. Construction finished. Firewood stall. We built another one? I didn't know we were... Uh, I thought we already had one of these. Didn't people already have access to fuel? Yeah, they had access to fuel. How were they getting it? We got a food stall, a firewood stall, and another firewood stall. Okay, we have two. We have two. Did I put... No, I didn't put a second family there. They just... They feel as though it's important. I guess with winter coming, they know the importance of having that extra wood. And I... Oh, look at this. It's starting to snow. Ah, oh, how magical. It's our first winter. Here in Revilia. Oh, fantastic. Are we going to survive? Look at the view. Oh, it's so nice. We're sitting atop this big hill overlooking everything. I'm loving this game. This is so good. All right. So we should have, hopefully, enough wood to survive the winter. I may consider even right now 
I'm gonna do it. Hold on. Oh wait. Hey, I'm back. I'm gonna take someone off of the hunting lodge. Yeah, we're gonna have to. We're gonna take him off hunting. And we're gonna put them somewhere else. I completely forget already what I was gonna have them do. Wow. Oh no, yeah, I was gonna... <laughs> Jeez. We're gonna put an extra person on the woodcutter's lodge. Just to ensure. We have four months of fuel. That's not bad. And six months of food. Granted, it's mainly berries. We have some bread and vegetables and meat. No eggs, though. That's real sad. I think we're gonna be okay with surviving this winter. We have two families working on this church. Things are going well. Alright, and just like that, our berry deposit is gone. So, our forager's hut, we're gonna get rid of these two families, and we're gonna get plank production back up and running. Gonna put one person in the plank production, and then the other person we're gonna put in our trading post, and we're gonna resume exporting planks. Just as many as we can to get ourselves some money over the winter. Because we can't gather any more food, and we do still have someone in the granary, so they will have a market stall for food and everything, so it should be good. We'll just continue to work away at this building. We still have an extra family too that we can put somewhere. We might want to consider that. We have two already making firewood, which is good. Hmm. We're going to leave them on construction for right now. How's this going? It's high priority. We have to transport some more goods. It should be good. I love how this looks. Like the snow is slowly starting to accumulate on everything. Uh, it's such a beautiful game. Oh, it's so nice. Um, what am I thinking? I can actually just go for a little walk around in the snow. With my beautiful cape and everything. Oh. So nice. Soon, we're gonna have a beautiful city here. Oh, that church is gonna look real nice over there. We'll have our... My house over here, my uh... What is it called? I don't know. I'm real curious now, what is it? I forget the name of it. The manor, obviously. It's manor lords, we have to build a manor. Jeez. Alright, it looks like our church is about to be finished with construction. And we have some cash in, and we have the planks. So what I want to do is this hitching post, I'm going to upgrade this with two of our planks to a small stable. And then once that's done, we're going to get another ox. Because these giant logs, they need an ox to be pulled around. And we only have the one, so it's really slowing us down. A whole bunch. It's really not the best. Hopefully that will help. Come on, church. It's so close. Oh, we're almost there. And then after that, we're going to have the families build that. There we go. We finished the church. Oh, that's so awesome. Church bell sound. What does that do? Oh, you could just change the way it sounds. I like that one. Alright, cool. We selected our bell. How nice. How nice is that? Alright, they're gonna start getting to work on that. Um, can we set the priority for this to be... Eh, we're gonna leave it. We're gonna let them build this house first. I'd rather have people moving in. We have no extra extra homes, so I want to get that started straight away. And I'm curious about this graveyard. We can build a corpse pit. <laughs> Doesn't sound very nice at all. <laughs> but uh yeah, that's fine. Uh, um provides hollowed ground for burial of the dead. Oh, okay. So I guess they just bury the dead within the walls of the church okay that's fine 
And we got the other plot finished. Oh man, we're just chugging along, aren't we? So we have an extra home for someone to move into. I keep getting this message that their storage is full because they need that ox to move it out. Ah, uh, come on. We need to get this done. Alright, it looks like our hitching post is about to be finished. We should be able to get that second oxen. Look at that guy. Look at his butt. Do work, man. Keep up the good work. Is it done? Small state. Yes! We did it! Alright, cool. Order another ox. We did it. And we still have some money left over. That is so good. Alright. So, it looks as though with food, we have one egg in. I'm guessing we can get eggs throughout the winter. So, if we can afford it, I'd like to get some more eggs, but we can't. I'm gonna wait. We're not gonna bother with more vegetables yet. We'll get some in the springtime, we'll get another one of those. But for now, we're just gonna wait to get some more chickens. It's gonna be great. And I have a plan. Check this out. If we go to here, we don't have good fertility, right? Fertility's terrible. I mean, it's not the worst. We have little patches everywhere. But look at this territory up here. Oh, man. This is going to be our food zone. We're going to do so much farming up here once we go and take it. It's perfect. It has such good fertility. And it spills over a little bit into Revilia. So, in the springtime, I'd very much like to try and grow some rye up here so we can get bread production started. So we're going to keep that in mind. And we do have an extra family or two. And we... Mm, there are some animals to hunt. So let's get someone on that. We have one family back to hunting. Hopefully we'll get our second oxen soon. I'm very hopeful. Or we already have it. We already got it. Oh, fantastic. That's going to help so much. And if we take a look at everybody, look. Everyone's good to go. We can upgrade these to the next level, but then they're going to want some more stuff. So I'm not going to do that just yet. But we are ready, and our approval rating is doing really good. So people will be more likely to move in straight away, which is real nice. And we're almost able to afford those chickens. Selling those planks. Oh, that's so good. The next thing that we have to think about building is this, our manor. We're going to need some stone and some planks. All right, since we have an extra family, we're going to get them collecting some stone. Stone cutters camp, do that for now. We'll start getting some stone in and yeah, all should be well. We do have to plan this little area up here as well. Needed for construction work? No, we don't need anybody right now. We're not building anything. Relax. We got one extra home for someone to move in. I don't think it'll take long either. We have a 69% approval rating. Yeah. Taking a look at our stats, we have seven months of fuel. So I took that second family off this woodcutter's lodge and I unpaused the construction of another home. We're gonna get that one finished. And let's plan out some roads to this farming area. All right, so we want rye fertility. That's good. Is that, that won't stay up while I'm building, will it? That's unfortunate. <laughs> all right, let's, uh, let's try and remember where it is. It's all the way up here. So if we go by this tree, I'm just going to surround it <laughs> with uh, roads for right now. So we go by this tree down to about this mark-ish, maybe? Does that sound good? That sounds good. So it's like down here to here-ish, and then maybe around this way. And then out, up around here. Does that look good? <laughs> Let's see how that looks. I think we nailed it. Oh, look at that. That's pretty good. That'll do. That's like a little border. We do have to enclose this whole thing. Oh, I mean, <laughs> that was a mistake. We're going to have to enclose this, but we got the general idea. So we want to come out from this way. 
We probably can just branch off right from here. Go around this. And then just head up this way around this little bit of forest here. There we go. Oh, it doesn't look the nicest right here though, does it? Here, we're gonna try that again. Or no, it's alt. Alt to remove it. There we go. Alright. We'll try and come from here. Okay, that'll work. Alright, so if we come out straight from this way and then curve around this tree, I think that'll look nicer. Alright, then we'll go all the way up here. How's that look? Yeah, I like that. A little bit of curve going on. Alright, nice. So we should be able to redo this road and make it look a little bit nicer, right? It'll be fine. Get rid of that. Perfect. So we'll just go from here. wonder let's see how that looks goes in a nice big loop and hopefully ah oh, that's perfect nice all right cool so in the springtime we should be able to get that up and running nice all right we got ourselves enough money new mercenaries are available that's good we got ourselves enough money to get some more chickens awesome got some chickens in the chicken coop I also, I switched our trade so that we're going to have 21 planks first before we sell anything else. So that way we can build our manor. That's the next thing that we have to build. We already have stone coming in, which is good. And I redid the, uh, the roads up here to make nice big square plots. Oh look, we finished another home. Awesome. Okay, so our builders have nothing to do at the moment. What do we need? We really just need planks, and I think we only need one more plank, and then we should be good. And a family just moved in, too. Awesome, okay. Maybe we should uh, up, plant, <clears throat> up plank production. Where is my plank production? We're good on logs. That's the woodcutters. There we go. Chucking an extra family there. Get us some more planks, please. We're so close. We just need one more. Awesome, we should have enough supplies now. Uh, I put an extra family on the saw pit, so hopefully they'll get us some more planks going on so we can make some more money. So look at this, the settler's camp. If we want to settle this area to turn it into a food production place for us, we're going to need that. So we're going to need some money. And it's actually, it's not the region wealth. It's actually this wealth, the treasury, which... We won't be able to get any money for the treasury yet until we get this bad boy in. So let's go ahead and stick this in. Do we want it right up against the road like this? I feel like we do. So we have the market right here. We're going to have the tavern in this big area right here, right on the main road that goes through. And then right behind the tavern, it's going to be our beautiful home. There we go. Welcome to the castle planner. This is a work in progress feature. Nice. So we could do walls and gates, outer towers, a garrison tower, and a tax office. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, that is so wonderful. We're not going to build any of that just yet. We're just going to get the building up. And, oh man, super excited. All right. Get to work, guys. Build ourselves a manor. All right. That is where I'm going to have to go ahead and end this episode. 
We built our church. We got that going for us. Everything is going well. We have enough food. It's February now. Winter won't last much longer. Look at this guy trudging through the snow. <laughs> it's so nice. But yeah, we got the church up and running. We're having our manor built now. Hopefully that will be done in the springtime. And we can start growing some rye and making some bread. That'll be the next step. And also we're going to start upgrading some of our houses to the next tier. Which in turn is going to create more demands for these people. Which is why I'm a little hesitant to do it straight away. But... Definitely next year, in our second year, we're going to have tier 2 houses. And we're eventually going to have to deal with these bandits. Because they keep on stealing stuff from us, right? It's no good. We can't have that. So we might have to go on the offensive. I haven't decided just yet, but we'll think about it. Oh, we got a second ox too. It's real nice. Ah, fantastic. So, going to go ahead and end it there. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. If you did enjoy watching, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel for more amazing videos, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!